are going to have a look at all the components inside a Baja board and why we don't use VESC but we prefer using different type of motor controllers. In the Baja board there are three main areas where we can divide uh, how the board uh, works inside. So we have the battery and the contactor which we're going to explain what this is for. We have the control system which is the remote and uh, the motherboard and then we have uh, the actual power output which is given from the motor controllers and the motors. So if we take as an example this board, uh, we have uh, four motor controllers, four motors, we have one motherboard, one contactor. So the contactor is like a switch that uh, we can uh, turn on or turn it off uh, when there is any fault, for example, into the battery and we want to disconnect the uh, load out of the battery, we can just open it. Here is where the battery is going to sit this space and then we have a remote. The first uh, input is given from the rider with the remote. Then this talk with uh, the motherboard. The communication here is encrypted for safety reason. The motherboard uh, gives information of each of these motor controller um, depending on the turning cycle, um, speed, loose attraction, brakes, supply, all this information and will give to each of these motor controller how fast uh, the motor controller needs to spin and then the motor controller actually will apply that information to the motor. We get asked very often why we don't use VESC but instead we use our motor controller. These motor controller are very popular in uh, big uh, high power vehicle and uh, for example like uh, electric car, electric boat, electric go-kart, electric motorbike so these motor controller are very reliable and provide very high power. And that's what exactly what we need for our board. So now let's go upstairs and show you what is involved in design process of the electronics. The design process starts from the computer. The first thing we need to design is the schematic. So this is a schematic and it's pretty much where each pin connects to a different pin. Then we move to the layout. Uh, the layout is pretty much like a big puzzle where you need to connect uh, uh, the actual pin that previously you connected in the schematic to each other and make sure they don't overlap. So once the design is finalized, we make the parts and uh, we start soldering all the components on the uh, PCB. This process is a process that we only uh, do for prototyping, otherwise for production, it's all made by picking place machine. And there you have it, that's a basic overview of uh, the internal and how everything works. If you have any questions or anything that you would like to see more in details, just let us know and uh, we'll make another video.